Now let's talk about why is nickel with four chloride ligands tetrahedral, while nickel with four cyanide uh, ligands is square planar. And the first thing I'll say about that is it has to do with uh, delta zero, the crystal field splitting energy. And we'll come back to our spectrochemical series of ligands. And you'll see, it's quite drawn up now, um, that cyanide is one of the most, or has the, one of the largest crystal field splitting energies, delta zero, while um, the other one, fluoride, is uh, certainly a lot smaller among the smallest ones there is. Uh, so that's the first answer is going to be, so delta zero is much larger for cyanide. Okay. That's the first part of the answer. Let's do one. There we go. And uh, then let's, so the, the way these work and the way these are going to appear on any exams or quizzes is that you're going to look at each of these things and tell me what you know about it. And I will give you enough information to figure everything out. So for example, uh, let's do pink for the tetrahedral one as much as possible. So tetrahedral, we're going to go back to our crystal field splitting energy diagram, which is in here somewhere. There it is. And tetrahedral has two down and three up. It's right here. So let's do that. So uh, tetrahedral, so this is going to be nickel chloride. No, sorry, that's not the right name of it. Nickel with chloride ligands. And that's going to be two down and three up. And in general, though, so we want to say that delta zero is smaller for this. And we've got square planar. We'll do that in green. And for that one, it's going to be uh, square planar. And square planar has square planars right here. So two, one down low, one, so two and one down low, one a little higher and one much higher. So two, one, one, two, one, one, one. And the exact spacing is not what I'm looking for, but I, I do want uh, you to generally mimic the shape of them. And what you, one of your questions might be, what's delta zero for this? And uh, because there are a number of gaps here, let's fill in the electrons and see. So both of these are going to have the nickel two plus and nickel two plus. Let's see. Uh, I always have to go back to the nickel atom. Nickel atom is going to be argon 4s2 3d8. Take away the 4s2, the nickel 2 plus ion will be argon 3d8. That's something that we know and can always do for this. So now we have eight electrons, and we can put them in uh, to see, let's see, one, two. Hmm. So you're faced with the choice of, does, is there a high spin and a low spin for this one? And, and you'll see that there's not. Uh, let's just do, let's do this one as if it's high spin. And then we'll do one down here as if, as if it's low spin. So high spin means place them in as many different orbitals as possible, five, six, seven, eight. Low spin means pair them as much as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so high spin and low spin are the same. Uh, we said that in general, you have to have between four and seven uh, D electrons for there to be a difference. I always like to check. All right. So um, 
Now let's go ahead and put in the electrons for the square planar complex. For the square planar complex, because cyanide is such a strong uh, uh, ligand, a strong field ligand, it's going to have a large delta knot. And uh, let's go ahead and assume that this is going to be uh, low spin. And one, two, three, four, right? Always fill ones with the same energy first. Five, six, seven, eight. And our delta naught will end up being between the filled one and the unfilled one because as we go from the ground state, which has all of the electrons in the lowest possible energy, to the excited state, one of the electrons will move up. And our whole point of this is that it will be in the generally the visible region. With cyanide, sometimes the energy delta zero is so large that you end up with an ultraviolet. And I'd have to check this one the same. Uh, and uh, that's, I think, everything we can know about this. Yes, and so square planar complexes tend to have this highest orbital that is vacant. That's why things, so the electrons can minimize their energy, and the complex overall can minimize its energy by not placing any electrons in there. And this is why you can get differences in tetrahedral versus square planar for nickel. Um, and uh, everything in that group, nickel and platinum for sure. Still, the jury's still out on palladium. We'll see about palladium uh, as I go and study a little bit more.